Okay, here's a video where we're looking at uh, Akiyama's takedown from UFC 144 that he did on Jake Shields. He used this very effectively uh, a couple of times throughout the fight. We know he lost. There were some nice techniques on the way to that loss. It's a very straightforward and simple trip. The skill is in uh, preparation and timing. So what's happening is Jake Shields is trying to get his hands on Akiyama and close him down. And there's a point in time here where Akiyama's effectively preempting what's going to happen next. That Jake Shields, he knows he wants a clinch on him. He's not going to carry on striking. Probably he's going to try and close down to his clinch. So it's quite a specific set of circumstances where you're going to want to use this. Probably in the instance where Akiyama didn't have quite so much respect for Jake Shields as he might of someone else and where he felt the attack was fairly predictable that the person was going to come towards him. <clears throat> now we need to be on the same stance here because I'm going to use my lead leg across onto Charlie's lead leg in order to trip and I need to get this underhook on the rear side from here quite quickly. So what's going to happen is as Charlie's moving in towards me I'm going to start preempting this by turning sideways on and it looks like I'm going defensive and into a shell but what's actually happening is I'm prepping the foot here almost halfway across. So let's just hit a quick look for it. So Charlie comes in from here, Akiyama's like this, underhook from here, and then, sorry Charlie, tripping this kind of direction down from here. Now, if you wait until the clinch is established, that's going to be a lot more difficult because the base is solid and it's going to be much more tricky. You've got to sort your feet right across and it becomes a lot more predictable. So as Charlie's coming in from here, if I waited and he got a full clinch from this position, now trying to do this is very difficult. This is a weak position from here. Charlie can easily throw me back in this direction much better than I can trip him. So it's the timing that's absolutely crucial. It's being brave enough to predict that this is going to happen and attack around that front leg as the person's coming in. So Charlie's coming in towards me. I'm holding this ground a little bit, turning sideways on early, and from here, uh, prepping this take down quick and making sure it's established before the clinch takes hold. So once more, Charlie's coming in. Man, I'm striking as well. I'm in sideways on in this kind of position as he comes towards me from there. So it's underhook on the rear side, tripping on the front leg from there, but crucial, setting your stance sideways on as this clinch is being closed down. So you can do this. Now one word of caution, the very final time that Akiyama did it in the third round, he lost the underhook, ended up in this kind of position, he got his back taken from there. So it's not without risk, we've got to get the timing right, we've got to make sure the underhook's in, we've got to make sure the legs are crossed smartly from that position. But that's Akiyama's trips that he was doing on Jake Shields at UFC 144.